Self-hosting apps me just got a million times easier using Docker. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to self-host your own AppSync instance in just two simple commands. My name is Confident and I'm a developer advocate at AppSmith. Without any delay, let's get started. All right, so right here, I am in my GCP dashboard where I have a virtual machine here, instance one, that I would like to self-host AppSnit on. And this would also work similarly for other cloud providers like AWS, Azure, or your preferred cloud service. Right here, I have a virtual machine and I need to self-host AppSnit on this instance. So to get started, I would need to SSH into the instance. So I'm just going to click on connect and let's bump up the size a bit so that it's more visible. All right, so let's give this a minute or two to log in and then we'll come back to it. All right, so right here we have my instance running and as you can see, we have instance one running right here. This is an Ubuntu machine and the only prerequisite to installing AppSmith with Docker is that you have Docker installed. So I'm going to leave links to guides where you can get Docker installed. In fact, you can also get that guide from the documentation. So I'm going to be leaving a link to the Docker setup documentation so that you have everything set up before you get started. So the first command you need is also right here in the documentation. I'm going to be leaving a link to the documentation again so that you can easily copy these commands and use them in your own installation process. So the first command I need right here is this call command to download the Docker Compose file. And I'm just going to copy this and head to my instance, paste this in and hit enter. And taking a look at what I have right here, you can see that we have the Docker Compose file downloaded. And now we can actually go into start up the containers using this file. And that's where the second command comes in. So we have this Docker Compose command and I'm just going to copy this, head back here, paste this and hit enter. And this is going to pull all of the images needed to run AppSmith. So let us give this a minute or two and we'll come back to check on its progress. And right here, as you can see, we have the installation complete. So we are done with the setup process. Now let's actually go in to use the instance. And all I need to do is head back to my dashboard and grab the um, public IP address of my instance. I'm just going to copy this and open a new browser tab and type in HTTP and paste in the IP address of my instance. And right here we have AppSmith loaded up as you can see. And you have this really nice confetti congratulating you for setting up your instance correctly. All right, so let's get started. Um, I need to fill the form. So I'm just going to put in my first name, put in my email ID, create a password, verify my password. What role do I play? Let's say engineer and my use case is just exploring. I can click on next and here is where we can set the data usage preferences. It's best for you to leave this on so that you can get the most support. So I'm just going to click on make your first app. And here I'm going to be presented with an option to build my first app using the guide. So I'm going to click on build my first app. And for the first app I'll be building right here, this is going to be a simple hello world application. So let's say hello world. All right, I can go ahead to deploy this. And right here, you see that we have the hello world application. I can make this public and copy the link over, share it with my friends, and you'd expect that this would work as you need it to. So let's close up all of these tabs and head back to the dashboard. I'm going to show you a couple of instance configuration that you need to be aware of. And uh, the first is heading to the admin settings page, you have the option to export your Docker Compose file. So let's say you're done configuring your instance and you're really happy with your configuration, you can export this file and use it in some other instance you want to configure. So let's head to authentication. You can set up authentication um, using the various auth providers, but before that, you can enable sign up for your apps. So if you want to enable or disable sign ups, you can easily do that from right here within the um, authentication settings. You can also set up Google login for your apps like you have on the AppSmith Cloud version. You can set up Google login easily. You can similarly set up GitHub login easily using the form right here. If you would like to enable um, email settings, such as sending out emails whenever you invite someone to your instance, you can also set all of that up using the email settings pane right here. 
And the same also goes for Google Maps. If you like to use Google Maps in an instant, you can also go ahead to set up Google Maps using the settings pane here. For the advanced options, this is where you can go to view your MongoDB URL and the Redis URI, and you can actually change this to something else if you want um, an external MongoDB or an external Redis instance to be used instead of the built-in MongoDB and Redis instance managed by AppSum. So you can go to change all of that right here. You can go to also set a custom domain using um, the form right here and you'll be good to go. All right, so this is how easy it is for you to set up your AppSmith instance using Docker. And like I promised, I'm going to leave a link to the um, setup URL from the docs so that you can get the commands to do the setup in the description below. So check the description, you'll find a link to the Docker setup instructions. All right, that'll be all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please do feel free to ask in the comment section and I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.